Hi everyone, this is HPT with High Probability Trade. Today I'm going to be going over how to use Zero Line Trader with Quo Tracker for an automated trade system. In the past, I made an automated trade system for Bracket Trader, and this is essentially going to be using the same methods. You have a, a signal generated in Quo Tracker, and the signal sends out an email. The email is read by um, a Perl script. The Perl script is read by Zero Line Trader, and then Zero Line Trader enters an order and it's sent to interactive brokers. What you need to do here is you need to download Medved Quote Tracker. It's a really good um, charting software. And you need to download Zero Line Trader, which is your trade management software. Um, it's for a 32 bit or 64 bit and Mac. You need to download Mail Enable. This is your mail client. It's going to be receiving the emails that are sent from Quote Tracker. You need to download Active State Pearl. This is a scripting software. I need to download my Pearl script. Uh, this is specific for Zero Line Trader. Um, the old one for Bracket Trader will not work. You need to download Interact Brokers TWS demo. If you already have Interact Brokers, then you're good to go. If you don't already have Visual C 2005 from Microsoft, then you need to download that because it will. Um, it's needed for the API to work correctly. This is the um, ATS file I have it loaded on Mediafire, and then here's the uh, Interactive Brokers demo, and then here's the Microsoft Visual C++. So once you have all that downloaded, you should be good to go to get this ATS running. What we're going to do is I'm going to walk you through basically how this works. So I have Zero Line Trader here. I have Interactive Brokers here. I have Quote Tracker. I have a chart up already. So let's say, just for testing purposes, I want to have um, a buy signal go off. So I've I've made a a dummy alert here. Basically, if the bar volume is over 30, then it's going to send um, an alert, and uh, it's going to trigger this alert with an email. This email is going to be sent to my mail enable and what this is is a buy signal okay let's I also have a um, a sound that goes off buy, buy. ATS, buy signal. okay the alert is enabled go ahead and close this and what this email looks like I'll show you this is the mo most important part of the ATS here, ZLT long entry. This is the uh, the order in which it needs to be read. Order by market one. Okay. And if you're doing a sell, order sell market one. Short exit, a long exit. You can also change this to either a bid or a ask um, if you wanted to send an order to be uh, placing a buy in the bid or a sell on the ask, you can do that as well. But for testing purposes, um, just to make sure everything works, we're going to be using market orders. Also, um, this last column here is specifies the column in Zero Line Trader that you want to designate the trade to go to. So, if let's say, for instance, you're trading, you're trading with the Russell contract. And zero line trader here, I have the Russell contract and it is data row ID number one. So uh, this is correct. And quote tracker, it's going to be going, the email is going to be sent for the, the Russell contract. Now, if I had something else here in zero line trader, let's say in data row number three, I had yes, then I would have to change this to number three. This is nice because you can set up multiple emails based off the column ID. So I could have basically, you know, a hundred different data rows here and a hundred different emails based off of each contract that you want to trade. Okay, so now that we got through that, we have our basic email set up. I'm going to show you the uh, the Perl script here. It's going to be a file. And what this file looks like, if you open it up, it's basically, um, it's going to be checking the directory. 
and um, you have different um, default contract sizes for you know the different future products that you trade for me I, I just specified them as one for each you can go in here and change this at a later time um, down here at the bottom this is the order ID and this is the specification in which things need to go in order so basically it's it's going to be telling us the either a buy or sell how many contracts one two or three either a market or a, a sell uh, either it's either going to be a market um, bid um, or an ask or a market and then um, this specifies in zero line trader which page we're going to be looking at so in zero line trader we have pages down here you can have multiple pages so um, you got to make sure that your page is named correctly in this case it's named futures and in, in zero line trader it's named futures and in the last order in the last column here is the order which um, is going to be specifying the, um, the column and in this case it's column number one All right. and this is set up for the multiple files so you can have multiple um, contracts traded instead of one contract traded at a time okay so let's go ahead and open this up when you first open it up um, it's going to clear out all your emails in your uh, mail enable I didn't go over how to um, set up the mail enable I have another video for that but I'll, I'll go ahead and go through that really quickly here how to set up mail enable okay where's that mail enable so you download this application here and what you need to do is you need to set up a mailbox for your emails to go to so basically it's gonna look like this when you first open up mail enable you can open this up open this up go to post offices um, default you're gonna to need to create a new a new mailbox so you can right click here create mailbox uh, you can name it in this case you want to name it ATS um, password can be ATS in this case I already have this set up so I'm not gonna hit save but you, you know how that works now also in the alerts for code tracker here this is this is the important part when we have our mailbox set up in mail enable here it's going to be specified based off the, uh, the mailbox name here so if you name your mailbox HPT then you're going to need to change this to HPT at 127.0.0.1 this is basically just your computer your computer's address All right. okay and then it's going coming from this address and it's going to this address so you gotta make sure that both of these things are the same for your email template the mail server is your computer or 127.0.0.1 okay close that so you have your um, your mailbox set up it should have zero messages in it um, right now okay so you set up the mailbox now we need to open the Perl script opened it up it's checking your email account and mail enable every one second okay quote tracker I have the alerts disabled right now what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna to go to zero line trader I'm going to open the port I'm going to select multiple file directory. I'm going to open file port. So now it's going to be able to receive signals from Quote Tracker to make an automated trade. Click OK. So now that we have the Perl script running, we can go to Zero Line Trader and we can specify the allocation whether we want this to be a simulated trade or a trade that goes to our interactive brokers account in this case I have it set up for the interactive brokers demo account 
Okay, so now let's go ahead and see if the ATS works. What should happen here is when I turn on the alerts here for Quote Tracker, it should send a buy signal and an email out. This email is going to be read by the Pearl Script. Pearl Script is going to be sending an order to Zero Line Trader. Zero Line Trader is going to send that order to Interactive Brokers. So here goes. Alerts are on. We'll have to wait for a signal to come in here on the chart here. When we get that next blue bar here, it'll send out an alert. There it is. Here is our order. Buy one market futures. You notice it says two. That means our data row is incorrect. So what we need to do here, I must have accidentally changed that when I was going through this. Disable the alerts. I need to edit my alert. ZLT long entry. There it is. Change that to one. This is the test. Okay. All right. Now we can try it again. There it is. Here's your order in Pearl Script, and we just had an order filled. There's another one. Here comes another one. Long three. See that we're stopped out on one of them. Sometimes, if you don't monitor this, Zero Line Trader um, may may have the incorrect position when compared to interactive brokers. So that's the main thing you need to compare between the two here. Just make sure that your um, position isn't off between the two. So it says I'm long four. If I want to go in here and say I say I um, close this position out in Interactive Brokers. Okay, now it's flat in inter Interactive Brokers. All right, so flat in zero line trader, it still thinks that we're long. So what we need to do here is go ahead and put a zero on that and hit enter. Now it shows that we're not holding anything. Okay. Now for the ATS, I have multiple email alerts set up. You may want to copy these so you can have, you know, a buy signal, a sell signal, an exit signal. Um, so for the buy signal, I have order buy market one and these are um, semicolons after each one for the sell signal order sell market one uh, again the last column specifies the order ID or the data row in zero line trader for the long exit it can be the same thing now what you can what you can do here if you want to buy in the bid and I'd make it capitalized bid and then on the sell you can make this an ask ask okay I'll go ahead and um, test this out we're gonna go in here and we're gonna change the email to the sell entry save the paint bar okay Enable the alerts. Here it is. Sell one ask. We have a sell order in zero line trader here at 69.51. Here's the bid. Here's the ask in Interactive Brokers. Just got filled. Here's your, your stop and your target. As soon as you're filled, zero line trader sends those in. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to visit zerolinetrader.blogspot.com.